they're detectives. Searching for loved ones. Some of them missing for weeks. They could be hidden close to home. If only they could speak. When a person goes missing, you call 911. When a pet goes missing, you call K911 Pet Detective. Okay, we'll be right there. Together, they lead a team of highly trained professionals who will stop at nothing to find the truth. Amanda's going to actually crawl underneath the building and she's going to try and catch this cat. Well, we've had a lot of people get angry, yell at us, deny us entry to their yard, say the cat couldn't possibly be in their yard, etc. My cat's been gone for three days. She usually comes back, but she didn't come back this time. What's her name? Misty. And um, is she an indoor cat or is she allowed outside? In an indoor, outdoor. Does she have her collar on her? Yes, she had her collar on her. Okay, very good. What Ellie Mae is doing right now is walking back and forth, popping her head up and down. That's an indication that she may have lost the scent trail. That could be because the cat went over a fence or maybe doubled back or circled around. Or possibly got hit. I think she found something. Show me. Okay, it looks like she found something. She's wagging her tail. She's sniffing around here. Oh, I see the collar. Look. Right there, right yep. there next to her. Lily has hit upon the end of the scent trail. It's looking like there's fur. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna collect the fur evidence as much as I can possibly get. We're gonna look around for some more and then I'm looking at this more and yes, this does look like a limb of a, a cat. Unfortunately, many people do have exotic animals as pets. These people have lost their chicken. You lost your tortoise. These cases are particularly interesting. I appreciate you guys coming out here so much. After running in the heat with the search dogs, I want to know why am I not a size six? Where'd the pet go? Where? Oh, there it is! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get it! Get, we it. Got get it. it! Oh, Lily, you got it! I can't believe it! You found it! <laughs> Girl. And it got a couple miles. Good job. Um, good I've, girl. From research that's been done, they can get up to seven miles a day, if, believe it or not, when they really get going. Good they girl. eat vegetation, and he's pretty active for uh, a little hibernating guy. <laughs> okay, we're here in our home, and we're training. We have our toad hidden in the wall, and we collected scent from the toad's cage. So this is the toad's scent article. We take a piece of gauze and a latex glove so it's sterile and we swipe the cage and we let it set for about five or ten minutes and that is what we will give the dogs for the smell for them to match that scent to the toad and to hopefully find the toad in the wall. We actually have a dead cat paw frozen in the freezer which we work with all the time with the dog. Our decomp dog, our blood alert decomp dog will go out and alert on the cat paw. Probably won't have any men that want to come over for dinner now that they've seen this, right? It's true. One of the uh, problems with this job, it is very physical. The other day I was running a trail with Ellie Mae through North Hollywood and a pit bull came out and attacked Ellie Mae. Um, I got my taser out here. This is a 500,000 watt taser that will stop a pit bull. What we're going to do is we're going to bring out Ellie Mae. She's a trailing bloodhound mm -hmm. and we're going to give Ellie Mae the toy and ask her to find You're Blue. have a dog? Find a cat. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have a dog find a cat. Nice. Scent is very much like dust. It's going to cling onto the ground and into the crevices. And every time we go out on a search, there is something different every single time. No case is the same. So we're gonna put him in the in the carrier in the truck and drive him home. Landed on Elisa. Look who we oh. found. <laughs> Here's your scent article and your picture. Keep Thank blue you. safe. I got a picture of my brother. I think you can find him. Well, we don't find humans, but <laughs> just pets. I'm so happy. I just can't believe they found him. If it was a child that was missing, the whole community and the news media would be opened up. You'd have helicopters and SWAT teams and the whole neighborhood would be out there searching. But if it's an animal that's missing, it, unfortunately it's a piece of property and people just don't view it the same. It's really unfortunate and we really hope to change that situation.